Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up on the UK Scrap Addicts blog, YouTube and Instagram. So this month's theme is to work with a 6x4 photo, one 6x4 photo. Um, so I've chosen this one, it's been hanging around in my photo stash for a couple of years now and um, I never really knew what to do with it. Um, I had some inspiration from um, the Chamel Glitter Girl collection and I decided to um, spell out, I had enough letters left on the sheet to spell out beautiful. Now I know that it's, um, it could be quite narcissistic that I'm saying that this is a photograph about me, but hey, I don't really care. Um, I just want to get these um, uh, papers used up. This is from a cut apart sheet. And um, I really, really like the way that this um, actually finished in the end. So these letters on the sheet, they're all different sizes and um, I quite like that. It gives the layout some interest. And I'm just gonna spell out the word beautiful across the, um, the bottom edge, the bottom third of the page here with all of them overlapping. I am cutting down some of the letters because the blank space is just a little too much and I'm gonna run out of room on the edge of the page at this rate. So there's not much else to this part other than this and it's a really effective way to um, you to spell out a title. So if you don't have many thickers or alphabet stickers, then have a look through papers. There's quite often papers that have got letters or even numbers on sometimes as well. You can use those to maybe do a numbers title. Um, so it's definitely worth having a rummage through. And if you've got something like this, give this a go. And um, I do add another word on um, to complete my title. I didn't want to be far too narcissistic and call it beautiful. So um, I do call it beautiful smile. And this photograph was taken. Um, I started doing um, a, um, a beauty company salesy thing. Um, so it was uh, unique and I do love the products, but I just didn't have the time to, um, to keep it up. And this is the first photograph that I took of myself um, with a full face of um, unique products. And um, yeah, as I said, it's been hanging around in my sash for a while, so I just wanted to get it scrapped. And I, although I don't add any journaling onto this um, on camera, I think I might go back and, um, and actually add some on uh, later on as well. So I'm really down to the bare bones of this Glitter Girl collection. I'm desperately trying to use it up. I'm desperately trying to kill it. I'm now onto a box of crayons, so um, I need to get this gone. I need to get this gone quick. Um, I can't stare at these papers any longer. Um, I think I've rummaged through this um, this collection no less than 50 times. So yeah, I just want to um, get a few more layouts done with it and then I am gonna call it done. So I've just backed my photograph there on some just some plain white card um, that I purchased from Hobbycraft and um, you get a pack of 50 for like five pounds or something. So it's fairly inexpensive. And um, yeah, so I do that just to help the photo pop off the background, especially because I am using a white background as well. And I knew that I was going to mat it on to or layer it onto some um, onto some pattern paper. So I'm just using um, some off cuts of the 12 by 12 sheets. And I did have that um, paper there that you can see um, with all those icons and I had three sheets of that paper. And um, I bought it because I thought oh, I'll sit and fussy cut them all out and it'll make loads of embellishments. Yeah, yeah, in, um, <clears throat> um, in theory, that's brilliant. But um, in reality, I sat and started cutting out one of the sheets and then I just thought I can't, I can't bring myself to do three whole sheets of it. So um, the rest of it is being used on the B side um, or is it the A side? No, it must be the B side, um, which is that pink spotty paper. And that is my photograph um, layered on the uh, teal camera paper and that pink spotty paper. So I'm just adding some double sided tape on to the back of my photo. I do need to get my ATG gun refilled. Um, there's nothing worse than having to peel that backing off. And next on to the embellishment. So um, here's the rest of the title coming in. So these thickers are from the Glitter Girl collection as well and 
in kits and through purchases i ended up with three packs of these as well so again i'm just trying to get these um these used up get them out of my stash i'm um, just deciding if i want it there and i decide that that looks fine i do add on these little glitter stars from the thickers pack and then i decide that i don't i don't like them i've really struggled with those stars I like the open ones, the ones that are, um, you can't see any on this sheet actually because I think I've used them all from this sheet, um, but the open stars, if you know what I mean, um, I prefer those ones, but yeah, those, um, the other ones, yeah, I'm just don't, not getting on with them at all. So yeah, next on to the embellishments, so um, this sticker sheet, um, as I film this video, I have, I think I've killed this sheet now. Um, both sides of it and or I might have one or two stickers left so I've done pretty well and yeah I'm nearing the end of this kit thank goodness and if you want to see a um, if you want to see a flip through of all of my glitter girl all of the layouts I've made with the glitter girl collection then do let me know um, in the comments down below you will have to find me over on my youtube channel which is scrappy nerd uk and again the link's down below for you um, and i'm quite happy to to do that and um, yeah so just adding in some stickers adding in some embellishments and these i can't think of what these are called these ones where you look at it in two different angles um, and it changes and i'm just finding the best uh, method for layering these pieces up i love that little rainbow um, and that little photo the, the photo the camera sticker that says snap and i think that's where i want it there and then i'm sorry about the lighting change there um i am filming pretty much at night under um my studio lights and my camera tends to pick up, um, so because that badge there is is quite yellow, uh, it picks that yellow up and it changes the uh, the lighting settings. I hope it's not too much of a distraction. So just going into the um, four by six sticker book, I'm just dragging out some of these florals that um, I have barely used, to be honest, and I'm just going to use them to frame around the photo and into that cluster with the rainbow that I've already made there and just lifting the photograph up yeah a really good tip is not to stick your um your photograph down uh, well don't stick it down at first you can add the um the embellishments in underneath it or if you are going to stick it down just put your glue in the middle um so you can still lift the edges up and place some embellishments underneath uh, perhaps I should take my own advice <laughs> next time and just adding this little square glitter girl phrase on there as well and then just coming in with another one that says a uh, superhero because why not and just messing around with the placement and the layering on this so this video um, or this layout took me 20 minutes and um, I haven't edited anything out of this video the process that you see is the process that I followed um, and I've just sped it up to twice the speed, um, so it's down to a 10 minute video. So um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased when I can get a layout done in 20 minutes um, that, I'm, that I'm happy with the end result. So just using this bit of washi and um, just cutting it in half because it's a little, um, a little bit too thick for my liking. And I add a bit there underneath the uh, word smile and then just tuck this piece in to the left side of the photo. A little bit of struggle because I have stuck it down, as I said. I will take my own advice next time. And that's just bringing some more of that darker pink from the top down to the bottom because there isn't really any uh, or much of that darker pink down there. And then the final flourish of um, enamel dots. So um, you'll see there, I've ended up with two packs of these as well. Um, which is great because my collection is still going, as I said, um, hoping to have this finished off. Um, I do start to put the enamel dots there to the left, but um, I don't I don't want to create another cluster of anything. Um, so I do move them over. Um, and then another set end in that top cluster as well. 
Um, so do make sure you head over to the blog, the description, uh, sorry, the link is in the description box below. Um, keep an eye out, keep keep tuned for um, the layouts from the other design team members as well. Um, there's some brilliant um, ideas and inspiration from all of the um, 15 ladies on the on the team and um, I thank you all very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumb, thumbs up um, leave any comments in the um, section box below and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos from UK Scrap Addicts take care bye bye